Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and minister, and the host of this show, To Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Don't forget, I'm an author of six books. If you want to get some good Christian books, uh, give me a call at 844-405-HELP. Friends, can you believe in God and be addicted to drugs? One of the saddest consequences of drug addiction is isolation when people realize that recreational drug use or dependence on painkillers is getting the best of them, they withdraw from their families, their friends, and co-workers. They lose interest in hobbies. They stop working out at the gym. They even quit attending church. If you're struggling with substance abuse, don't buy into the myth that spirituality no longer has a place in your life because God is there to help you. There's no better time than now to welcome the and embrace of a loving, healing God. Addiction doesn't discriminate. Doctors, teachers, lawyers, civic leaders are just vulnerable as poor, undereducated souls from rough parts of town. People of faith who have certain risk factors are no safer than non-believers. Yes, you can believe in God and be addicted, uh, addicted to drugs. Addiction might be the most misunderstood disease in existence. Perceptions are improving, but drug abuse is still widely associated with moral failure. Nothing could be further from the truth. Would you attempt to withdraw from God if you develop diabetes, asthma, or cancer? Of course not. It's true that poor decisions may have contributed to your addiction, but millions of people make poor decisions each and every day and do not become addicted. You were born with a pre, uh, predisposition, most likely a head, uh, head dietary, excuse me, to this disease. An unstable home environment, early drug use, or traumatic life evidence might have factored in as well. As the body builds tolerance to drugs and alcohol, higher doses and most frequent use is there. How is belief in God relevant to recovery? Well, first, your emotions. Well, intellect, physical body, and spirit, to paraphrase, are all important parts of you. They were created to work in harmony. They need equal attention and nourishment. Second, in mentioning your neighbor, Jesus expressed his desire for you to live in society. He sees you as a valuable member of the community. He wants you to uh, enjoy others and wants others to enjoy you. Again, addiction is isolating. It's marked by very lonely times. God never wanted that for you. Finally, Christ tells you to love yourself. That's hard to do when you're filled with misplaced guilt, self-loathing, or feelings of unworthiness. For people, or any religion, or none at all, this is is sound teaching for rehab. If you let us help you, me help you, you'll get uh, individualized treatment from me, uh, coaching. It will equip you with coping skills for re-entering society. It will highlight your worth rather than your flaws. You'll learn to love yourself again. Drug abuse is hard on the body, so we'll uh, meet your, uh, your, your uh, mental uh, and physical needs. Detox takes place uh, uh, in rehab centers, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it can take place within your heart with the power of Christ. Friends, I will tackle whatever ails your mind and emotions, if it's not even just drug and alcohol uh, uh, related. Drug abuse goes hand in hand with other mental issues like anxiety and depression. There may be an underlying factors like uh, uh, some sort of abuse or uh, some traumatic event. It's crucial to diagnose and to treat all the problems together. If, if I focus on getting you sober, uh, we'll just be treating the symptom. That, that never works. Your treatment will combine several tried and true methods, such as behavioral therapy, uh, uh, different sorts of approaches. If you tell me that one method isn't working for you, I'll try another one. I'll offer individual and family counseling in peer uh, group, uh, group virtually that we can work together. And, and, and I'll recommend for you, if you need, want to, to go see counseling or psychotherapy. I have a strong network of support and it's very vital uh, for you to utilize that to stay clean and sober for long term. 
Groups members enjoy social outings, fitness activities, and movie nights. You'll have plenty of personal time to take care of your spirit, even when you and I speak virtually. You may choose to read, pray, keep a journal, and meditate if you believe in God and want to learn how to depend on Him through the recovery. I can arrange spiritual counseling and point you to the excellent resources that are available out there. Rest assured that God loves you and longs to set you free from addiction. He doesn't just want to help you and reclaim your life. He wants to give you a new life. You can believe in God and be addicted to drugs, but addiction needn't have power over you. You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't allow it to isolate you from the people in your life who love you. And I can help you as an addiction recovery coach and a life coach. So call me at 844 help Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And don't forget that I am a recovering alcoholic from years ago and each and every day is a battle, but with Christ and God in my corner, it's as easy as drinking a glass of milk. That's how easy it is to stay sober each and every day. And you can have the same thing. All you need to do is start working on and believing in God. Give me a call, 